Hello, we're going to talk a little bit about sitting in full lotus position. My teacher, Master Xuan Hua, was adamant about sitting in full lotus. I'm not so adamant, but I sit in full lotus because I find it the most comfortable. Notwithstanding what I'm going to say in a moment, Keep in mind that how we set our mind in meditation is far more important than how we set our body. Our body is a support for our mind. And if we, if we are aware of that, we will learn to absorb ourselves in the mind and forget our bodies. Nevertheless, full lotus is the most symmetrical position to sit in for long periods of time. And that's why yogis and many great enlightened beings have always used the full lotus posture if it suits their body. So, because not everyone is built in such a way that full lotus comes naturally, I'm going to speak a little bit about getting in full lotus posture even when it seems like it's impossible. Typically people with shorter legs and uh, stronger, uh, less flexible knees have more difficulty than others. So if, if you're a person that full lotus doesn't come naturally to, and I must say that in the beginning it didn't come naturally to me either, but I was determined. Uh, sit like I am now and just use your weight for a, a minimum of five minutes several times a day in your spare time just to open up the back and the tendons and the knees and just use your body weight without putting much effort in the in it as you stretch forward just letting your body weight do the work and then gradually grab your your feet and if it seems impossible at the beginning believe me it won't be if you keep at it a few minutes every day and just sit like this and sit for a long period of time, allowing your body weight to open up all the channels and meridians and all the tendons and muscles and stretch them out and loosen things up. And just sitting like this, even as I'm doing it now, is very, 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 very relaxing and peaceful and I can feel energy flowing and one thing I'll add here is if you drink a nice strong cup of espresso before doing any of this it really aids the process so you got an excuse to drink some good strong tea or coffee and just allow yourself to sink into the p posture and sink in and sink in letting your body weight do the work and eventually your elbows will touch the ground like that easily I'm a little loose now so I must admit it's a little bit of a stretch for me no pun intended anyway do that for five minutes minimum each time and do it several times a day just using body weight even if you only can go down this far and gradually that loosens things up then to begin with Assuming that you can't sit in full lotus at all, just begin with easy posture like this. Both, lay, both feet under each, each thigh. And just sit in meditation like this. And just relax. And sit as long as you can until the end of the sit. But gradually put one leg on top like this. This is called half lotus. Which leg goes on top? You put whichever leg is easiest on top in the beginning. And then you sit like this and you try and have both knees on the ground in any of these postures. And typically in the beginning it's difficult, even in half lotus, to have both knees on the ground. So you can put a weight on top 
some books or something. And that opens up the hips and allows the legs to fall naturally towards the ground. So you get a nice even support, very symmetrical. So the way to get into half lotus and full lotus is begin with both feet out in front and then choose the foot you want to put on top of the thigh. Let's say it's the right one. Then you take the right foot with the right hand and you put it over the left thigh. And then you bring the other th thigh forward and you can put it underneath like this. This is half lotus or set it on top like this. This is full lotus. But right now we're working on half lotus so you bring it under there. So again, we'll do it with the other leg. Put both legs out in front. Always start with both legs out in front. Now, take the left leg, bring it knee up, foot towards the groin, lift it up, put it on top of the leg, on the thigh, as close to the groin as possible. With your left hand, grab the opposite leg, the right leg, and put it, pull it under. There, that's half lotus. And just sit like this. When half lotus gets comfortable, it could take months, it could take longer. But when it gets comfortable, work with full lotus. Work towards full lotus. Work it the same way. Start with both legs out front. Choose your whichever leg is easiest. Put it on top. Pull the other one forward. And that's, this is full lotus. Now, when you sit in full lotus, it's very painful at the beginning, at least it was for me. But just endure it, don't worry about the, it injuring yourself. Endure it. If you can get in full lotus, endure the pain. And gradually everything will open up. Endure the pain and when it gets uncomfortable, don't force it past it being too uncomfortable. So you're walking a full li uh, fine line between, you know, uh, being too easy on yourself and too hard on yourself. You want to be right in the middle. You want to be, follow the middle way and just find a, a balance. And then once it's comfortable, just relax into the full lotus posture and just sit. And when it gets uncomfortable, go to half lotus, like this, switch, and put uh, one foot underneath the thigh. Or you can go to easy posture and put them both under the thigh. All the while, whichever posture you are in, whether it's easy posture, half lotus, or full lotus, back should be straight and shoulders relaxed. You don't want to help like this or anything. Shoulders relax, chin in, and so your back of your head and the shoulders, spine right at the shoulder blades, and the lower back should be in a line. So you can feel a line. It feels like if you drop the, a plumb line through the middle of your head, it would pass through three points, one in the lower throat and one at the heart and one in the base of the spine. So you just kind of keep, keep the back straight without it being too taut. You don't want to be, you want to be relaxed too. Because after all, we're meditating. We're not doing yoga and we're not doing a physical exercise. It's actually, the full lotus posture is a mudra, a position for the body to sit for long periods of time without getting fatigued as we absorb our mind in the meditation topic. The idea is to, a full lotus is to completely be able to forget the body. And yogis have found out long ago that you know, like when you're sitting in a chair for 20 minutes or a half hour or so, it's pretty easy, you know, it's a comfortable position to be in. Just about any position that we randomly sit in is, is comfortable for short periods of time. 
But yogis discovered, and it's kind of a miracle that they discovered it, that what is basically seemingly an uncomfortable position is actually the most comfortable position for long periods of time and creates the less uh, bodily uh, sources of discomfort long term. If, for example, if we sit in a chair all day, we're going to have a backache. Or if we sit in a, some, you know, random position. But if we sit in full lotus because it's so symmetrical for long periods of time, it is going to have the, be the most beneficial for the body. We won't notice any back aches. We won't notice any pain in our legs or anything. And we'll be able to sit without being distracted by our body for long periods of time in full lotus. So that is why we try and accustom ourselves to sitting in a full lotus posture. And if we cannot, then we just go with half lotus or easy posture. But the idea is to sit on the floor and really try and forget the body. And these three postures are the easiest postures to forget the body completely while we absorb our mind in our meditation topic. And this concludes our talk on Sitting in full lotus, I hope it's been helpful. Namaste.